the Egyptians looked to Ra. For the Greeks, it was Helios. The Aborigines stood in awe of Neawe. For thousands of years, the sun has captured imaginations. Now a small group of dedicated students will capture the sun, a tiny imperceptible percentage of it, and power their remarkable achievement as they attempt to cross the continent of Australia. We have to accomplish a great feat that isn't taught in any of our classes. To get the kind of results that our team gets, we have to rely on team members to get their hands dirty and get out there and learn what needs to be learned. This is the World Solar Challenge a race across the notorious Australian Outback. I think what really hooked me was something they call the transfer of knowledge. And this is where older students, seniors for example, kind of teach the younger students, freshmen, sophomores, even juniors, what they know. Why I do it? I've never been stretched so hard in my life. David and Goliath has been our story for so long. But I'm kind of unsatisfied with that story because David and Goliath were enemies. And I think our story is bigger than that because we're friends with our competition. Yeah, it's true. You. <laughs>